Hey there, little guy. Are you new around here? This is my first winter out of the nest. It's cold, too. Well, my name is Marty. Marty the Mallard. And welcome to the world of the Huron River Watershed. The Huron River what? The Huron River Watershed. It is made up of all of the lands that drain directly into either the Huron River or the creeks that feed into the Huron River. It spans 908 square miles in seven different counties. Here, let me draw you a map. Ooh, that's a lot of land. Is it all rivers and trees like here? Maybe I should move. A long time ago it was, but not anymore. 29% of it is wetlands, woods, and water. 24% of it is farms. 14% is open. And 33% is houses, towns, and stores. I think I like woods best. That's where I can build a nest. Why can't it all stay woods? Because people need new houses and stores. But what about our houses? Well, if the people care about us, then they can build up and live in areas that are already developed. What do you mean by build up? Like in my trees? You have much to learn, my young friend. Here, climb on and we'll take a look. Wow, that's a lot bigger than my nest. And it has room for a lot of people. So if more people can live like this, we can have more room to live. I think I'd like to go back to my nest now. Is that the Huron River? It sure is, and the river and its watershed provide drinking water for over half a million people. And us too. <sighs> Here comes a human. Just be still. Quack. Woo! That was close. Yeah, a little too close. Remember, kid, you never want a human to touch you. Why not? Cooties. Woo! Hey, what's that human doing over there? Are they infecting the water with cooties? It's okay. She comes every week or so to take a sample of the water. She checks to see how the river is flowing and collects bugs and other things. Not ducks or squirrels, I hope. No, I can fly and you can climb to the top of that tree. Hmm, I'd like to see her catch me up there. So why does she have to check our water again? To make sure it's safe. You see, sometimes humans do things to our water that makes it dangerous. Why would they try to hurt us? Sometimes they don't even realize it. What do they do? They have chemicals at home, like paint, gasoline, and oil, which are all very dangerous to us and to our streams and rivers. The people don't know what to do with these things, so they pour it in a drain. But what they don't know is that the storm drains go down to a creek, lake, or our very own Huron River. Well, if this is bad for us, why do they do it? Some don't know, and sadly, some don't care. I really like our river. I hope it stays clean and safe forever. The Huron River watershed is currently the cleanest river in southeastern Michigan, and I'm glad to call it home. Me too. Hey, you want to play tag? Sure, I'll go hide. Now turn and count to ten. One, two, three. Hey, that's cheating!